I'm going to take you live outside now to Kelly Green. She is in East Memphis near the Target store right there at 240 in Poplar. Kelly, I see the cars getting by behind you. How good are they getting by? Pretty good, actually. We've been watching this Ridgeway Loop and Poplar Avenue camera here. Um, we're going to pan over here to this bridge because this bridge is what we've been talking about over the past couple of days. With this kind of precipitation that moves in, it's those bridges and overpasses that can get really slick. We have that cold air today out of the north, allowing that colder air to wrap around those bridges and overpasses and really making them even colder, which causes any of that precipitation to fall in that liquid form to freeze on those surfaces. And of course, the surface temperatures have been in those mid 20s for the past 24 hours. So this has just been an impactful event. Mother Nature playing a big joke on us because this is going to be the third punch that moves in later on tonight. And we already have so much significant icing on these parking lots. It'll likely take until tomorrow mid morning before all this starts to clear out once we do make that transition into rain. It is cold out here. Here. We have high pressure starting to build in, so the skies are trying to clear out, giving us a little bit of subsidence today. But as Trevor just mentioned, more insult to injury because we are going to see that precipitation come back in again with another wave of freezing rain, likely some sleet. And of course, this is very impactful already on these parking lots. So if you do have to do any kind of errands or perhaps try to get into work, parking lots, sidewalks going to be incredibly slick. So please use some caution if you're heading out today because this is just kind of very dangerous. You can easily fall, break it a wrist or possibly a hip in these kind of conditions, but uh, it is just going to not improve likely until sometime tomorrow morning once we do that transition from freezing rain back into rain, helping clear out a lot of this. So we'll keep you updated. That's why we always say continue to check the forecast because it is always changing back into the studio. Kelly, thank you so much for that live look. Let's go now to Jordan Foster, who is still in the thick of it as well. Jordan, you've been in Midtown. Now you're back in downtown. Tell us how things are looking now. Yeah, well, in short, you know, things are looking icy, to be honest. Um, these roads are, in some cases, bad. It really doesn't um, matter which side of town you're on. I know Trevor has been doing a great job of uh, focusing in on the interstates and showing how bad and, and how good in some situations those are. Uh, but here, a lot of what we're seeing is this whiteness. We're seeing ice, and we're seeing cars taking it easy on the roads um, to, uh, uh, to get to that destination safely. Actually... Everybody who knows me knows I'm a jokester. So actually, before this live shot, I was going to bit, I was going to get down and actually get some, uh, make a snowball to throw back at you all. But I want you all to see real quick. This is ice. Ice. I couldn't even get outside and make a snowball. That's how hard this stuff is outside. So again, if you do have to be outside, make sure you are taking it easy because this stuff here is no joke. And in many cases. We know, unfortunately, the city has a lot of potholes. You can't always see those potholes, right? And it just takes one um, bad hit to, uh, unfortunately, take the car um, in another direction. So, again, uh, roads are drivable if you have to. But, again, if you do, if you can't stay home, just stay home, stay warm, and uh, stay with your families this morning. We'll send this to you all back in the studio. See, the thing, Jordan, with